And this is what happened when a small school in northern New South Wales decided to go additive free. I really don't know if we're going to see a change because I have never seen kids eat so well. Maybe it's because they knew I was coming, but they're all eating a sandwich, an apple, and they're having water. They're already eating really well. have been asked to cut additives from the children's diets and the school is providing additive free breakfast at no cost. Um, we didn't have a complete take up but we've probably got about 70 to 80 percent of the children who are involved which I think is excellent. Stop buying that junk food. Don't buy too much of these things that have colours and flavours in it. No, I'm just going to walk home the time till Mum's going around fridge. After two weeks of the Eating for Success program, staff and students have seen a difference. We found that feeding the children in the morning, the social aspect of that, um, you know, school teaching is a, um, a caring role, but it gave an extra dimension to that, and we really enjoyed it. It's nice and it's healthy, and it makes us improve in our work. I used to be really naughty uh, in class and now I'm not naughty, naughty as much anymore. They've been a lot calmer and they haven't been like, they haven't been not working and they haven't been yelling out in class. They've been all calm and all that and they don't yell out in class. My brother used to not always because he usually always hurt me, but now he doesn't. These my friends, they've been quieter <laughs> and not as annoying. It's just been much more harmonious in the classroom and that's had an effect on the classroom as a whole. Far more um, sociable and uh, amiable with each other and settled. I found certain kids had a longer attention span and they're able to concentrate and work more effectively for that period of time, yeah. I'd actually like to see the big companies that, that are making all the money off these kids be accountable for what they're putting in their foods. I just found they're a bit more focused um, and more enthusiastic and more cooperative. And I need that because music can be difficult. It's a very noisy subject and children want to play with the instruments at the wrong times when I'm trying to speak to them. And I just found they were very cooperative yesterday. They were, like I said, they were the best they've ever been. I just found... Um, that they were able to relate better to their peers in general and also to concentrate better in class, which means that you're having fewer behavioural problems. I didn't think I'd see a lot of changes because my kids eat pretty well anyway. Really thinking about it, they haven't had that snappiness between them except if they've been completely and utterly exhausted. While he's following the diet, he's, he's calm and he's, he's compliant. It's the biggest one that we've seen, that yeah. the kids are quieter and calmer. And um, behaviour is better, um, children are more in control and no and headaches, or stomachs or skin, stomach rashes. Or skin yeah. rashes. One week later the children were allowed to buy a treat at the swimming pool and this is what happened. And they're fighting and calling one another names and spreading rumours. and So I've had two different lots of children in tears in a class of about 23 kids. So I think that's a pretty good indication of what the food colourings and the lollies are doing. Independent scientists recommend that schools should minimise the use of artificial colours and other food additives that may contribute to behavioural disorders.